Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The current future of Call of Duty, both a little bit short term, but also long term as well, is looking very weird right now. A little bit concerning in some areas, but also a little bit hopeful in other areas as well. You may have heard of this little thing called Call of Duty HQ. And by little, I mean this thing's huge. It has a gazillion downloads and update requires restarts and takes up a ton of space, right? And Call of Duty HQ is basically the sole reason that we now know of Call of Duty projects years out. You may recall if you've been around this channel for a little while, like we used to talk about leaks and rumors and stuff for updates and it'd be like maybe a weapon or two there, an operator or two here. And for a while now, we've had a ton of Black Ops 6 leaks thanks to the COD HQ, even though MW3 was only just getting started a few seasons ago. We already have leaks obviously for COD 2025 that we've discussed a little bit about COD 2026. And we even know the project code name already for Call of Duty 2027. But recently, a couple of details, a couple of leaks ended up surfacing that caused some drama for sure within the COD community, but also gave us a bit more insight into maybe what to expect in the coming years for COD. And, uh, you know, like I said, some of it's a little bit concerning based on some information that surfaced, but also other parts of it do prove to be pretty exciting at the same time. So if you've been around, we've discussed this a little bit before, but the current COD plan as we know it, according to all the leaks, all the rumors so far is obviously this year, 2024, we're going to see Black Ops 6. Time is a fly in and we're coming up on that launch very, very quickly. Then in COD 2025, the initial rumor is that we're actually going to see another Black Ops title. There's been rumors saying it's going to be similar to Black Ops 2, maybe a kind of remake or remaster of that, and essentially extend on a Black Ops 6 similar to MW3 did for MW2. It'll be a direct sequel in some capacity, be Treyarch-led, essentially be Black Ops 7 in a way, right? And then in COD 2026, that will end up being the next Infinity Ward title, a Modern Warfare game supposedly known as Modern Warfare 4. And then in 2027, we'd get to our next Sledgehammer title, and who knows what that could be. Advanced Warfare 2, Vanguard the prequel, Call of Duty Medieval Warfare, who knows, right? But that was the initial schedule for a long, long time. However, recently, there's been some file updates that have surfaced via the COD HQ that, as I mentioned, caused a lot of drama, caused a lot of confusion because various different leakers and data miners noticed that within the files right now, a lot of references for what was previously titled Call of Duty 2025 have been updated to include various different Modern Warfare assets, different Modern Warfare weapons and all sorts of stuff like that, which caused a lot of people in the community to go, wait a second, what's going on here? Are we actually getting an Infinity Ward title next year? Are we going to see then another Black Ops title in 2020? Six instead have things been shifted around and to these direct rumors charlie intel and tom henderson really two of the most if not the most credible sources specifically when it comes to call of duty insider information and early details and stuff like that both shut that down and said no it's still going to be that original plan of 2025 as a treyarch black ops title 2026 is modern warfare 4 2027 who knows but the files currently indicate some very weird things. So we've got three different code names, Saturn, we've got Rex, and then we've got Rap, which is presumably Raptor, right? And Rex currently includes stuff for Outbreak and Multiplayer and DMZ and Campaign, which would be partial Treyarch stuff, but also partial Infinity Ward stuff. So that'd be 2025 and 2026 combined for some reason. Perhaps the files just got mixed up because everything's being forced into COD HQ, right? Then Saturn just has stuff for multiplayer. That's presumably 2026. And then Raptor just simply exists as a code name. And we know that's potentially uh, Sledgehammer's next title, but a very confusing series of events there. Luckily though, like I said, insiders with Tom Henderson and Charlie Intel clarifying the original plan still seems to be what we're going with for the future of Call of Duty. Another couple of interesting things, though, have surfaced in regards to the long term future here. And by the way, obviously, a lot of this very long term years out, you know, several games out even in certain cases. But we're going to continue to get new info on this and obviously much more short term. Lots of info on 2025 in the coming months and with BO6 launching and everything. There's going to be so much information you're not going to want to miss. So if you want to guarantee you are always up to date with everything going on in COD, 
be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. And if you enjoyed this video, a like rating is always really appreciated as well. It really does help grow the channel and share the video into the algorithm. Anyway, looking forward to that 2026 title, Infinity Ward's next title with Modern Warfare 4, supposedly. A string that was actually connected to that is specifically titled Warzone 3. And just to, you know, clarify anything here to, you know, avoid any confusion, what we are playing right now within Warzone technically is not called Warzone 3 from Call of Duty. It's just called Warzone. We obviously had OG Warzone, MW 2019, Cold War, Vanguard. Then we had Warzone 2 with Modern Warfare 2022. And then that game backfired so much that they wanted to get rid of the Warzone 2 name to hope that people would come back. So they just dropped the two and were playing Warzone. Now, a lot of people do call it Warzone 3 because it's with Modern Warfare 3. But the files referencing Warzone 3 would indicate our next major upgrade to uh, basically everything in the game, whether that be the full on engine, the basic mechanics, essentially just being another tech upgrade in the back end to allow Warzone to expand more, potentially be more optimized and allow for significant changes across the board. So potentially in 2026 with that Modern Warfare 4 title, we could actually end up seeing a major, major update to Warzone. However, there's also some individual drama going on with Call of Duty 2026, unfortunately. And this is courtesy of Bob Network. They ended up talking about this a little while back and Charlie Intel reported on it saying some unconfirmed leaks about Infinity Ward's 2026 Call of Duty title. Apparently the game is going to have a lot of Modern Warfare 3 2011 maps. So original MW3. Of course, I think it makes sense. We've seen a lot of COD 4 maps remastered over the years. We of course just got all of the MW2 maps with Modern Warfare 3 this year. It makes sense to eventually bring in the OG Modern Warfare Warfare 3 maps as well. There's no indication if it's going to be every single MW3 map at launch, like what we had this year, or if it's just going to be simple remakes here and there as a part of the seasons or what. But apparently, MW3 maps will be returning in Modern Warfare 4. But more concerning is that the game is currently reportedly at a standstill as the Infinity Ward team is unhappy with certain aspects of it and Activision is putting pressure on the studio. Now, simply me, uh, you know, guessing here, making an assumption, they're probably being told that, you know, Treyarch's Omni Movement is something they want to have in the game for years now. We want to focus on Omni Movement. It's a brand new thing. We want to have that as a basis in COD for movement. Infinity Ward, as we have seen recently, specifically with MW2 and Warzone 2, maybe not the biggest fans of movement. And there's some pushback on that. And they're not happy with being forced to, uh, you know, include other studios, certain elements, which I think is kind of weird if that's the case, just because Infinity Ward's been the basis of a lot of other studios creation and limiting what uh, has gone on there and uh, forcing their elements into other titles as well, since they've often made the new games with the newer engine upgrades and everything going on there. But kind of a, uh, uh, you know, coin flip here. Now they're on the other side of it and they're not as happy, perhaps. Uh, an interesting situation. I'm not concerned necessarily that this is going to be detrimental to the game, but it is interesting that the game is reportedly at a standstill because there's pushback from Infinity Ward. And hey, I mean, I'm all for the devs trying to make the game that they want, but at the same time, Infinity Ward now has a rough track record when it comes to being able to adjust to feedback, specifically MW2 and, uh, and Warzone 2. So would be very curious to see what the reception is like if they do end up winning with some pushback there and potentially making changes that might not sit well with the community or they could end up with a ton of leverage on Activision if they do make changes. And then when the game's revealed, it's like, oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. That's got a lot of potential. And then they're sitting there at Activision like, see, we told you so. So it's going to be an interesting couple of years for sure for Call of Duty. It's always strange talking about projects that are multiple years out. Even a year out is a long time uh, for, you know, how much is going to change. But a lot of information's out there already. Curious to see how it evolves in the coming weeks and months and I guess years even as we see more and more updates to the COD HQ and more and more of this stuff ends up leaking out because it will and I'll be covering it here on the channel when it happens so if you want to stay up to date with that alongside everything else going on in COD be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications and if you enjoyed a like rating is always really appreciated on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you later peace out <laughs>